Now let's take a look at the low-level digital input subvis as a mechanism for reading one or more digital inputs. MyRio has two sets of 16 digital I.O. lines each on the MXP connectors and eight on the MSP connector. Green indicates those lines that are dedicated to the task, while orange indicates those that are shared with secondary functions. I'll begin by right-clicking and selecting the MyRio subpalette, looking under Advanced I.O., and then I'm interested in Digital I.O. Go ahead and pin that one down, and you'll see that you have four sub-VIs to work with. Open, Read, Write, and Close. Let's take a look at the Digital Input Express VI to get a sense of how to use these low-level VIs. Come down here to the lower left, click View Code, and then copy this code to the clipboard. I'll move the Express VI out of the way, and then I'm doing Control V to paste in that code. Here we have the Smart Open. It's similar to open, except smart open can work either inside a loop or outside of a loop. Since I know that I'm eventually going to have this outside of a loop exclusively, I'm going to do a replace with the standard open VI. Here we have an array of channels that are opened. Because the Express VI only included a single channel, that's why we only see one entry right here, and the remainder of the array is empty. That reference in pink that's passed to the read sub-VI produces a Boolean array, and then index array is used to pick off, in this case, that one individual channel. You can easily add additional channels. Those are all opened simultaneously, and then you can now access multiple DIO channels as a bus, that is, as a Boolean array. The result of read is a Boolean array, which we can then, again, extract individual elements as needed, or we could work with the Boolean array as a single entity. Next, I'm going to show you how you can make the choice of channel runtime selectable by making it into a front panel control. I've picked out that constant from the array. Now I'm going to change that constant to a control. Let's look back at the front panel. Now instead of having to rebuild or recompile your VI each time you change the choice of digital output, here you can simply select it from the front panel. Let's try doing a direct connection, and it looks like we have a broken wire. This is because Open is expecting an array at all times, even if you only have a single channel. I'll use Build Array from the Array Palette, and we're set there. Since I'm only working with a single channel in this case, I'll go ahead and delete that extra indicator. Finally, I'd like to show you how you can insert the read VI into a loop. I'm setting up a while loop around the read sub VI, and this while loop will run until the stop button is pressed. Once pressed and you break out of the loop, I'd like to then close down the channel as part of just general cleanup at the end of running the VI. I'll bring out the air cluster, bring out the reference, and that takes care of cleanup.